without being able to use the spray gun. I don't know if that makes any sense. That's the best I can come up with, I'm afraid. So yeah, parents do really, really well when you ask them for something, and they can say yes, no, or this is how I want to change it. Lists are really great for parents. You can say, I need this, can you do that? And they can say yes, no, maybe, let's change this. You always, always have the right to ask. The thing is, they always have the right to say no, and that can be hard. But when they say no, you don't stop asking. You go somewhere else, and you eventually get what you need. Most people with eating disorders, the vast majority, aren't asking for anything that is out of the realm of reasonable. Most people with eating disorders haven't been asking for a very long time, and they need to start learning how to. So yeah, keep going, get someone to say yes eventually. List consistency too, make sure that you ask them, make sure that you take the initiative, because that's something that's going to be very comforting to them. It's going to be, they don't want to have to lead your recovery, because they don't know how. And at least you know yourself enough to know a little bit more than they will. Yeah, so, yeah, it's just really, really important to remember that everyone's well-intentioned, everyone did their best, and that really, that's all that matters, and that you'll get there eventually, with your family behind you, and that's one of the best things in the world. So yeah, take care everybody.